What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question one of the sixth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that the question is asking us to find the value of this long expression with parentheses, exponents, and all kinds of crazy stuff in it. So if you have been learning about math in sixth grade throughout this year, then you can probably guess what this question is testing you on, and it is order of operations, also known as PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplying and dividing, adding and subtracting. Uh, you might have heard the memory trick, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I personally prefer the memory trick, please expel my disrespectful algebra students. I find that one's a little bit funnier and sticks in your head a bit more. But make up your own. Email me your own memory trick that you come up with and I'll have, have a nice laugh about that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Um, if we remember order of operations, it goes, of course, PEMDAS. And then we multiply and divide together, we add and subtract together. It's not like we do our multiplying and then our dividing. We just look at each of these and go from left to right, um, do all of our multiplying and dividing, and then we do all of our adding and subtracting. So to start with, I'm going to look for a set of parentheses, and I have one of those right here. So I need to figure out what this set of parentheses equals once I figure all of that out. And in order to do that, I need, a, I need to do kind of a miniature order of operations inside this set of parentheses. So I'm going to start with 5 squared, because that is something with an exponent. That's what I need to figure out before I can do my subtracting. So for 5 squared, that is going to give me 25 minus 10. Now that I just have numbers inside this set of parentheses, I can just go ahead and say that this is 15. And we still have our divided by 5 times 2 cubed. And at this point, I'm done with my parentheses. I don't see any parentheses anymore, but I do see something with an exponent. 2 cubed is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to be 8. So now that I've gotten rid of that exponent, my expression says 15 divided by 5 times 8. And now that all I have are multiplying and dividing, I can just go ahead and divide and multiply from ref from left to right. So I start with 15 divided by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 3 times 8 equals 24. Anyone who's a fan of SpongeBob will no doubt laugh at that number, as do I. So 24 is our answer. I see that our answer choice C says 24, so that's the one I'm going to pick. 